everyone my name is mini sethi i hope you all are staying healthy today we are going to talk about solo model of economic growth for ugc net this is exogenous model that analyze change in level of output in economy over a time period as a result of change in population growth rate change in saving rate change in rate of technical progress and this model is given by nobel prize winning economist robert solo and this is first neo classical model which was built upon herod domer model now we'll see assumptions of this model according to this model we use labor capital and technology in production full employment in economy labor and capital can substitute with each other means we can use capital in place of labor similar we can use labor in place of capital diminishing return apply on labor and capital means after a certain time period additional unit of labor and capital give us less amount of output prices and wages are flexible perfect competition in economy all saving is transformed into investment means saving is equal to investment and technical improvement is neutral According to Solo we can achieve steady growth rate with the help of technology capital and labor this is equation of solo production function in this equation y is output or we can say y is income a is technology and here we assume our technology is constant k is capital and l is labor and f simply describe a function in order to know productivity of labor we will divide both sides of this equation with l after dividing both sides of this equation with l our equation will become like this so this l and l will cancel with each other and become equal to 1 our technology is constant we write technology or not it doesn't matter now our equation will become like this uh, y over l is function of k over l y over l is output per worker and k over l is capital per worker according to this equation output per worker is function of capital per worker that means if we change capital per worker then output per worker will also change obviously if you are changing capital per worker you are giving more machinery to your workers for production their output will also change so we can say that output per worker is function of capital per worker for the sake of simplicity we write y over l equal to small y and k over l as a small k after writing this our equation will become like this small y is function of small k small y means output per worker and small k means capital per worker and output per worker is function of capital per worker as we change capital work per worker eventually output per worker will also change as capital per worker increase output per worker also increase as output per worker increase that means our income will also increase as income increase saving will also increase as we know saving is constant fraction of our national income in this equation s s represent our saving and y represent our income s is equal to s y that means saving is constant fraction of our income as we know investment is equal to saving and saving is equal to s y that's why we can also write i is equal to s y here i is our investment that is equal to s y so in this model this s y represent our investment in this diagram on x axis we have capital per worker and y axis we have output per worker this curve represent as capital per worker increase output per worker also increase because output per worker is function of capital per worker as output per worker increase our national income increase as national income increase our saving will also increase this curve represent our saving that is equal to sy here sy represent our investment so we can the saving is equal to investment now suppose our labor is constant we are only changing capital as we change capital output also change 
एंड चेंज इन कैपिटल इज इक्वल टू इन्वेस्टमेंट माइनस डेप्रिसिएशन मीन्स वेन वी माइनस डेप्रिसिएशन फ्रॉम इन्वेस्टमेंट इट विल बिकम इक्वल टू चेंज इन कैपिटल डेल्टा के मीन्स चेंज इन कैपिटल एज वी नो इन्वेस्टमेंट इज इक्वल टू एस वाई दैट्स वाई इन प्लेस ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट वी कैन राइट एस वाई एंड डेप्रिसिएशन रिप्रेजेंट बाय डेल्टा के डेल्टा के मीन्स डेप्रिसिएशन ऑन ओवर कैपिटल एज वी नो डेप्रिसिएशन मीन्स रिडक्शन इन वैल्यू ऑफ एसेट due to use so here delta k represent our depreciation when we minus depreciation from investment it will become equal to change in capital in this diagram this line represent our depreciation del k is equal to depreciation this line represent our depreciation and this curve sy represent our investment when depreciation and investment are equal to each other it will be called steady state equilibrium point at this e point you can see depreciation is equal to investment that's why this e point will be called steady state equilibrium point when investment is more than depreciation then our capital will increase on the other hand when investment is less than depreciation then our capital will reduce before e point you can see investment is more than depreciation rk represent our investment and tk represent our depreciation you can see investment is more than depreciation that's why our capital will increase and eventually we will achieve our steady state equilibrium point after e point you can see depreciation is more than investment you can see depreciation is r1 k1 but investment is t1 k1 that's why we will reduce uh, our capital and eventually we will reach at a steady state equilibrium point where investment is equal to depreciation now we will see fundamental equation of solo model in this equation change in capital is equal to sy minus uh, delta k as we earlier discussed sy is investment and delta k is depreciation we will bring uh, delta k in this side now our equation will become like this now we will divide and multiply this change in capital with the k now our equation will become like this and the change in capital over k represent growth in capital change in capital over k represent growth rate of capital and growth rate of capital depend on growth rate of labor according to this model we should grow capital at n rate n rate means growth of population or we can say the growth of labor so we can say that change in capital over k is equal to n that's why in place of change in capital over k we can write n now our equation will become like this so here is k here is also k we will take k as a common now our equation will become like this and solo model talk about uh, per head output and uh, per head capital that's why we will divide y with l and k with l now our equation will become like this for the sake of simplicity we can write uh, y over l as a small y and k over l as a small k and this is our fundamental equation of solo model according to this uh, model we should invest uh, uh, we should invest according to growth rate of population or we can say that according to growth rate of labor this n represent growth rate of labor plus our investment should cover our depreciation also here this delta represent our depreciation so this will be called fundamental equation of solo model according to this model in order to achieve steady state growth equilibrium point our investment should according to growth of population plus it also cover depreciation according to this model in order to achieve steady state growth equilibrium point our investment should according to growth of population plus it also cover our depreciation this diagram is same as we earlier discussed only we add n n means uh, growth of population or we can say n represent uh, growth of labor e will be called steady state growth equilibrium point because at this e point growth of population and depreciation is equal to investment means we are investing according to growth of population and our investment also covering our depreciation that's why e point will be called steady state growth equilibrium point as we know in order to achieve steady state growth equilibrium point our investment should according to growth of population plus it also cover our depreciation so e will be called steady 
this year growth equilibrium point before e point you can see our growth of population is more but our investment is less that's why we need to increase investment so that we can achieve this e point which will be called steady state growth equilibrium point after e point you can see our output per labor start reducing our investment also reducing but our population and uh, depreciation still is increasing that's why now we have diverted from steady state growth equilibrium point now our economy moving toward declining state only e will be called steady state equilibrium point because at this e point our investment is equal to growth of population plus it also covering depreciation now we'll see criticism of this model ignore equilibrium between actual growth rate and warranted growth rate as we know herod domer model talk about equilibrium between actual growth rate and warranted growth rate but this model ignore this those who follow herod domer model will criticize solo model unrealistic assumption of perfect competition market this uh, model is based on assumption of perfect competition market but this assumption is unrealistic absence of investment function this model don't define properly investment function only say investment is equal to sy but this is not correct this model assume prices are flexible but flexible price can create so many difficulties in achieving steady growth rate how you can achieve steady growth rate with flexible price this model is based on unrealistic assumption of homogeneous capital and this model assume technical progress is exogenous factor this is also not true so this is all about a solo model i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care